Exactly. Hello. This is where we find out whether or not everything is working. And that involves me <laughs> going on. And that involves Hello. Yes! I have a voice and everything! Oh, what a relief. That's fantastic. Uh hello. It's a good start, isn't it? Uh how's everyone doing? Fantastic. Great, great. And how uh Keen, I'm in pain and I'm senile as a character, so there's that. So fabulous. And Charlie is totally very sexy. Uh okay. Uh where are my notes? Good evening everyone, and welcome to Adequate Company, a four-part weekly online adventure game improvised comedy show. That's quite a long title. My name is Matthew Watson Jones <laughs> and I am your host and game master. Similar to typical Dungeons and Dragons games, I have prepared a quest for my players. However, just like in our Monday night show, Questers of Yalpalor, my players will not only be portraying their own characters and details, but also inventing details in the moment, bringing some hilarious unpredictability to my world, and perhaps even playing some other characters. I've gathered four hilarious improvisers and actors from around Europe to join the world-renowned Adventurers Guild named The Adequate Company! Please say hello to Charlie, Jada, Isaac and Jana, my four international improvisers. And to introduce their characters, the poetry of death meets the existential dread of boredom in life. Orpheus, Sinfer Mortis. Why do we keep doing this? Like, why? <laughs> she's old, she's bold, and she's got no idea why she's here. Want a hard candy? It's Aggie Ababa. Is there anyone on the other side of that? Hello? Hello? Smell that? That's the cosmos. And cookies. And old caramel. Consciousness consists of quantum flowering of the psychic. Purpose is a constant. We grow, we are reborn, you are in karma. Okay. <laughs> and finally, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, that was I was it. like, <laughs> I'm not sure I'm following. And finally, the ultimate <laughs> companion in battle and on a walk, whose most fearsome weapon is his puppy eyes. It's Buddy Buddy Ladybug. Give me a bowl, and I'll fetch you the whole skeleton. <laughs> hey, of the bone. Oh Buddy, I saw a couple of, uh, of of bones just that way by uh, Orpheus, so uh, I can get you a couple. <laughs> what? 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 Noise. Like. I think in character, I'm holding an apple, and the apple just goes putrefact <laughs> as I stare at Buddy. Like, we haven't even oh, I have yet. that spell too. <laughs> <laughs> Before we jump into it all, I've got a bunch of people to thank for the help. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons map designer Afternoon Maps has made all the maps for this game. Uh, Figment RP, obviously, Itama has helped with them step the process. Trent has also helped with the logo and with Zoom, uh, tabletop audio for the in-game music, and Roll20 for our online platform. Are you all ready for the recap? Yes! Absolutely. So last absolutely. Last Fucking great! Absolutely, positively. Absolutely. Give me no, a wee hook and it will happen. No, no. But are you yes. actually ready or are you still gonna... Okay. Last Tell time. us how you really feel. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see your faces because I'm looking at my script, but I'm sure they're hilarious. Last time on Adequate Company, a team of misfits gathered together by Guildmaster Butfair arrived in the Duchy of Ducky. Uh, they defeated a gang of orcs. They arrived in the city of Ducky and learnt from the Presiduke that the dust that is disrupting everything the trade the people the monsters is made up of tiny fungal spores that some mushroom creatures give off when they are frightened but for some reason in ridiculously huge quantities the captain of the city watch was annoyed that adventurers were called in when he thinks that he and the watch should deal with the problem 
and the compromise is that they will travel together in the morning to discover the cause of the problems. So, yep, yeah, that's all. Any questions? Darp. <laughs> then let's Oop. get started. Uh, what happened? Uh, so we, we're starting in, in the morning, but I'd like to know what happened overnight. Well, if I remember correctly, a certain moose offered out a couple of mushrooms, given that we were talking about mushrooms and that was just sort of on par. And, well, Aggie was very much up for that. Uh, having a few psychedelic shrooms, fungi in her possession as well. So I do believe that, that she joined the old caramel uh, mushroom party. Okay, Orpheus, buddy. I think Orpheus will have this fellow just because of interest of psychedelics. Like, who would say no to psychedelics? It's like, yes. And also, we have knuckle bones. Like, we were going to play out, like, our knuckle bones. You have yours. I have mine. We were going to compare and contrast the profits. We were going to put our, our bones on the table to compare sizes. Like, look at my 100%, bone. 100%. Like, <laughs> like there go. was, was going to be, you know, th there was going to be some, like, a, quite a long pissing contest. A bo really. Yeah, a bone, a bone measuring contest is what, yeah. What, what I think we have to say is like, Eggie has a bit of a bone to pick with Orpheus when it comes to, yeah, rolling the bones. Okay, as buddy? I spent the whole night just like, uh, from the mushrooms, I was really like, uh, freaked out by my humanoid hands. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I wasn't like, uh, thinking about, have you guys thought about fingers and stuff? I was, oh, then I was chasing my own tail. Okay. My uh, Shetland pony tail. Yeah. <laughs> Did you happen to, like, reach into your bag of stuff and pull something out and get obsessed by it? Yes. At one point, I took uh, an item and I was looking at it and I made uh, from that item a. Uh, I, I gave it to all caramel. <laughs> okay. Do you want to roll to find out what that item is? I want to know so badly. Yes, so yes. Badly. So I, I took the item, which, wait, wait. And what dice roller? What did it say? Uh, D20. Yes. Here what? we go. Got a nine. You gave <laughs> old Caramel a potion of flying. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. So yeah. So... Uh, have a sippy poo whenever you feel that it's at the right time. And whenever you use it, make a poem. One of your wisdoms. Yes. That's what I said. When I Thank gave it to you. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. I shall endeavor to use this potion of flying at the most opportune moment. And I stash it away in my Wherever it is, a moose stashes things away. And uh, what what it, what's your plan for the evening, old caramel? What what are you up to? Well, I wouldn't say I have a plan. I would say the universe has a plan for me. And what I believe happened, if memory serves, which it doesn't always, is we sat atop a tower, looking up at the stars, breathing in the night air through the lens of whacked out mushroom nonsense. Great. Uh, other... To be fair, at some point we all got hungry, and Eggy broke into the uh, broke into the castle kitchens, most likely terrifying some scu poor scullery people. Well, no, the scullery them people don't don't sleep in the kitchens, and it's the middle of the night. So, uh, I mean, they have you got what? thieves' tools? Do you want to roll on thieves' tools to break in? Matthew, can we just can you can we just for a moment just believe that that the scullery are sleeping in there just for the fun of it? Yeah, there's, yeah I mean, there's, there's one scullery ma maid who sleeps in there, and Isaac, you're playing that scullery maid. Okay! <laughs> sounds like... That sounds like me! What's your name, so, scullery maid? For the record, maid? Uh, Aggie is not a thief. Well, actually, technically, Aggie is a thief, but in this particular context, Aggie is a thief. Uh, 
She knocked on the door. Yeah. Scullery maids. The door. Get away! Was... I'm asleep! Can't you hear I'm sleeping? Hello? Hello! I can't hear you. Hello? Hello? Come oh. on in, men! I'm sleeping atop a bread pile. You could have some of my bed. Be- bed bread. You open the door. Hello? I cast mage hand and open the door. I'm a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> so the door clearly just randomly opens in front of Aggie yeah. and immediately faced with like uh, a very obnoxious and noxious um I, I do maid, smell. scullery maid. I'm like still trying to figure out what you are. Um, I'm a wizard! What's your name, wizard scullery maid? Uh, um uh, Aggie is going to cast phantasmal psychedelic food science at this particular, oh, that's so upsetting that it's, that it's one. Uh, but basically one what it psychic does- psychic damage? I'm- Well, like, I don't have a level, a so I die. <laughs> it's also a spell. Basically what it does is she, she conjures up what is clearly a plate of perfect poutine. <laughs> and it just, it's in Eggie's hand. And if <laughs> scullery maid, does not manage an intelligence save of 15, then she will come to eat the poutine and she will be locked into a spell and she will literally be unable to move. Well, uh, I believe I only have one hit point, so I'll do that and I die. Well, right in front of you, I die. No, I think you probably I don't think got... the scullery maid died. I think she probably went into a coma. Uh, you did Ooh, only coma. roll a five on your intelligence save. Uh... So I die. <laughs> no, you don't die, God. <laughs> You might be, un- you have to deal you might with be unconscious, though. Yes, like, I'm, unco- it, I'm unconscious. Is she, is she unconscious? Yeah. I'm not so unconscious! I, I guess, I guess, I, I guess <laughs> anyway. Orpheus follows, like, yes. Just as she's falling well, over, Aggie, just as just, she's just. falling over, she says, I'm no longer conscious. <laughs> and she's down. <laughs> obvious, okay. obvious. What would you like? Do you want a cake? Do you want a stew? And Eggie like pulls out her cauldron and, uh, and, and, and it grows to basically take up the entirety of the kitchen. And uh, you can see Amboto like swimming in it. And, and she starts just throwing ingredients into the cauldron to make uh, a midnight snack. And I have all my cooking tools, so that's what I do. Okay, roll your cooking tools and we'll see how good the, the midnight snack is. I am no one going to stabilize me! If, Wait, if the, uh, if the I have a question on that, actually. Do I rule this with disadvantage? Because I'm senile and... No, you probably... Uh, uh, I think of all your skills... I think we discussed this. Of all your skills, cooking is I never a d- disadvantage. It's a 17. Okay. Nice. It's, the food is incredible. Wow. Fine. Okay, based on all of this experience at what time roughly do you think you are all waking up in the morning oh by the, by the way I, I make sure to i make sure the maid is the maid scholar is alive like i oh. make sure that obvious she's alive get over yourself she's it a is... scholarly maid that's why she's a wizard i get it now I, I, I poke her, like, I guess, I poke her as we With this stick, do I lend you Cornelia so you can poke her? Like, I say, like, hmm, how, 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 how alive is that cane? I'm afraid I can kill it. I usually don't touch things because I kill things. Oh, no. I mean, Cornelius is Cornelius, but I, I don't think you can kill Cornelius because Cornelius is mine. Okay. But I can poke him for you. Her. Yeah, I, I think I think I I go close to to her breathing and say, I think she'll be fine. She's Isn't just sure? like, she's very like intensely trying to be unconscious. Like she really wants it. Just let her be. Yeah, and then we bring food for Buddy and Old Caramel. Uh, and by we, I mean I make Orpheus carry all of it, <laughs> wearing gloves, so that none of it like Keep decays. The, the scholarly maid wakes up. In the morning, yeah, and then uh, goes to the uh, goes to wait. Who's who rules this thing again? The the president. Nobody the president. To believe president. a scullery maid. She I know. He runs this runs to the president and says, "The old lady tried to kill me last night with a poutine." Oh, 
I'm sure you're exaggerating. No, I'm not! She was probably just a terrible cook. I also have mental mind powers. You can do a mind link with me and look at my memories. For the record, the scullery maid has like gravy in ah. her hair. Yeah. Like she is the and most covered in breadcrumbs from her bread bed. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, just like <laughs> awful looking human. <gasps> I'm not yeah, she, yeah, she's human. That, that old lady has a really sweet dog and I'm sure she only, like she takes such good care of him. Dog tour and I'm sure... I'm sure that she wouldn't do anything bad. I feel, disres- I feel disrespected. I'm quitting. I'm going to go to culinary school. And I leave. Okay. And we will see Betty the scholarly maid in another adventure. Perhaps. <laughs> I hope so. Except it hurts uh, my throat to do. Uh, so who, who, uh, who wakes up first and what time do people wake up? If you, if you say after a certain time, then a servant will come to wake you. I mean, it's a fair assessment that, like, Aggie's up early because she's old hmm. and constipated. <laughs> and it's just a thing that old constipated people do is they get up early. Whether or not she's capable of seeing people early is a different <laughs> conversation. And she also probably got lost on her way back from the chamber pot, so there, a servant is going to have to go find her. Okay. I've been um, sleeping the yeah. entire night. Like uh, whenever I fell asleep, it's been like a uh, dark streaming. So it's I've, I'm like currently uh, <gasps> always like half awake, half sleep. So like even the slightest like interruption just wakes me from my slumber. Mm-hmm. So I'm like uh, whenever there's a sound from uh, outside the room, I wake up. <laughs> okay, so uh a servant comes into the room and orpheus old caramel and buddy are in there and buddy immediately sits up and the servant comes in and says excuse me oh we're missing one uh good good morning good morning best of mornings to you my brother nah. i thought i would wake you all as it is nine in the morning I if you, you say so, if you say so. Uh, and, and just sort of behind him, just Aggie walks past in the <laughs> corridor. Ah, please, uh, <laughs> this is your room. You don't know me. I don't know you. I'm not going anywhere with you. I don't know what you're going to do to me. Hey, on, hey, Cornelius. hey, hey, little person. Oh, stop yeah. harassing! Stop harassing the lady. She hasn't given you consent to I'm, tell her what to do. I'm so sorry. It's just that I was told to to speak to the adventurers, and really, it's easier if all four of you are present. Cornelius, are we adventurers? Are we adventurers? I thought she was an adventurer. Is she not with you? I'm a cook. We're all together on this grand adventure we call life. Also, well, we killed a few orcs earlier, so yes, we are adventurers together. I well, can still smell the blood. Here, oh, I'll clean buddy, that, that off. That was so much fun. I love riding on you. I, I see. Well, uh, I just wanted to uh, let you all know that uh, the captain of the watch and uh, his guardsmen have left they have uh marched out of the city to great pomp and circumstance declaring that the city watch shall resolve the dust crisis oh good then we have time for breakfast come on who, who wants something? i have to say I, that I, I like do not like the city watch person and it's like making me feel very negative feeling towards him. Like, I want to hurt him, and I shouldn't want to. Also, I'm afraid breakfast may be a little late, as our scullery maid has quit, unfortunately, this morning. <laughs> they don't make oh. scullery maids as they used to, anyway. Can't find oh, good help these days, that's what they say. Well, I guess I can hold my appetite for a little longer. I mean, oh, you, you could reach into your bag, like see if you've got food in there. You want oh, yeah, I, I I remember I made a really good, like I, I found this bargain and uh, I got the, this, which I, um, wait, uh, damn it. Uh, 
Oh, uh, we look. This is one and eighteen. Okay. Uh, you got uh, some beans. They are lightly vibrating. <laughs> Ow. You eat them. I... Do, do your cheeks like vibrate as yes. you try yeah. to chew them? Yeah. <laughs> I eat the vibrating beans. Yeah. Once you swallow <laughs> you know, them, the effect, the blur, you get the effect of a potion of blur on your body. Uh, so it, looks like, it looks like you're not exactly in one place, and if anyone tried to touch you, they'd probably miss. Ooh. Does and anyone if... want a cake? I. It... It's not. It's not a bomb. I figured out where I went wrong last time. <laughs> I would have a cake. Also. Hey. Everybody else, everybody else sees the vibrating dog guitar, yeah? <laughs> I think at this point, Orpheus left the room and is just waiting in the front entrance of For everyone whatever else. Place, castle <laughs> palace place we are in. And, uh, and, like... and, and Eggie hands uh, Old Caramel like a, like a sticky, like three-tiered, yellow, frosted cake. That's huge. There you go. Mmm. I slowly and sensually eat it. <laughs> it's a three-tiered <laughs> cake. That's gonna take you an hour. I'm twelve feet tall. I can eat. I can eat this it thing pretty fast. Basically, a mouthful. I'm fifteen feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you twelve? Uh, in, in, in nine feet. What, what, does, what is that in international? Sorry, Isaac. Hold on. He's claiming twelve second. feet, which Give me is twice second. my height. I'm saying he's one and a half times my height. Uh, nine is... I'm 2.74 meters. Wow. <laughs> That's a long move. No, I think okay. you can eat a three-tier cake. Roll, roll constitution, old caramel. Let's see how quickly Perhaps you can... to roll constitution. It's a delicious cake. He just can't eat ten of them. Right, let's just see how quickly he can eat. It's how, um... how his stomach... Can his stomach contain this much food? What did you get? That's... Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, yeah, you you can hold all that food. Yeah, you might be walking a little slower, but yeah, you're fine. <laughs> you can walk even slower than he already walks. That's very slow. <laughs> uh, buddy, buddy, I am um, my my legs hurt from all the shenanigans. Would you mind giving me a ride? I don't, and I take you and I just put you on my back. I cast guidance on my digestive system. <laughs> uh, describe how that works. I look down at my digestive system, or where I believe it is, and I say... Thigh. You look down at your thigh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm magic. Who knows where things is? is and, I, and I say to where I think my digestive system is, you can do it, little, little fellas. You've got this. Take your time. Okay, roll and a d4. I cast. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. I got two. It's pretty good. Two. Yeah, yeah. You, the, the, you, you now walk at a normal pace as you <laughs> eat your food. What a long-winded way of getting me to eat food. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, you uh, collectively emerge onto the streets of Ducky, unless you had other plans in the castle. Nope. No, let's get out of this castle. They oh, wait, don't want us anymore. Uh, uh, before we leave the older, the gentleman, uh, which way did the watch go exactly? Uh, Good question. Yes, the watch has headed uh, west out of the western gate and along the western road. Never, so... never eat spoiled waste. Okay, that way. <laughs> no, west. Um, Aggie, West is like that way. Exactly. Okay. Yes. West is like East, if East decided just to go another way. I That's see. so profound, oh, Caramel. My whole mind is <laughs> smithereens. <laughs> um, if you completely like not even has not heard this conversation has not like is just like utterly convinced that west is the absolute opposite way but has just is just so east 
adding somebody. Yeah, it's just convinced that we're supposed to go east, but doesn't care enough to correct anyone. Okay. You head <laughs> west. Um, guys, there is something I wanted to confess to you all, and it's like it's like silly. But in the last elections, I voted for the Wicked Witch of the West to be the Pressy Duke. Just don't tell the actual Press Duke. Uh, pr sorry, Press Duke or Prostitute? Um, um, I actually get all all all, all flushed at that at that at that question, and like um, uh, um. And and Eggy hmm? pulls out a magnifying glass and just stares at you through it. I say, well, the Wicked Witch of the West is like my aunt, so I didn't really have a choice. And she's not a prostitute, though she has very good bosoms. Sorry. And I keep walking, ignoring the big, like, magnifying glass. And, and, and Aggie, and you just see, all you see is like a bloodshot, very green eye. And she just turns to old Caramel and goes, I don't think... He, I, I, I don't think Orpheus knows whether he vote whether or not they voted for uh, a prostitute or a president. It's all right. I forgot to vote. Are you all talking about the next elections? Someone says in the street. Who's asking? All right. It's just you know you see all this dust on the floor. It's clear the president can't do what they're supposed to. Presiduke or prostiduke? Pre Presiduke. I, I am the Duke of the prostitutes. I, for one, think we should go back to the old ways. We should go back to... We had a grand old duke. We didn't have elections. We should just find, you know, the next in line. We know it is his son abdicated, but there's got to be someone else. Would you like a hard candy? Would I? Yes, indeed I would. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Thank you for the hard candy. So he's he's uh made to be a friend. Yeah, I mean, I would assume so. Because Maggie just wants to go and lean in and go. So are you just against women, or do you just only like men? Oh, the truth is, I only like men. Oh, why did I say that? Well, the two top candidates were both women, so of course I didn't want to vote for either of them. <laughs> Why am I telling but, you all this? Have you ever thought that maybe you are, like, sexist? That can't be true. I love women. I think they're love sweet them. little things that should stay at home, but I love them dearly. <laughs> um, so Aggie sort of, like... <laughs> oh, this is unfortunate. Uh, Aggie urges everyone forward, um, and as long as everyone is in front of her, is everyone... Well, you're still like, on Buddy, aren't you? Uses, uses, uses uh, Cornelius to push, like, Orpheus and Old Caramel going. She's clearly on Buddy. And then as soon as we're past, she, uh, she lets out a noxious fart in this general, this man's general direction. And at exactly that moment, the friend's spell ends, and he's like... Yep. <laughs> Why did I tell them all that? And then he walks off. Yeah, so, for, and also... <laughs> Wait, you have to see if he dies or not. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah, a... No, he's, 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 part. It's a different kind. Is it, is it, is it a damaging spell attack? Yes, if yeah. he doesn't get... Yes, yeah, of course he, it is. She let out a little lady, like, a little old lady part. He has to make a con save or he takes 1d12 poison damage oh and he's not goodness. a player character. Yeah. He's not a player character. This could kill the guy. And you know what? Aggie doesn't care. He passes the gun save. Oh, That's great. <laughs> oh my god. Well, so really, that was so funny. So do you have me around. Like, here. nobody will die. I love it. Like, I can no, 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 stabilize people. Fine. It, it's, it's all the, fine. Um, so basically, at, he's having this conversation. The hard candy fades. And then what he sees is this, like, noxious green cloud that smells sort of like <laughs> decaying fish. And it just like shoots past him, hits him directly in the face <laughs> as we leave. <laughs> Why since did I'm I tell a, them all that? Since I'm a dog and I have a, like a even better sense of uh, smell, <laughs> yeah. uh, I have reached out and I I, I put on a canine gas mask. Okay, perfect. <laughs> to protect me. 
that you had in your bag, did you? Okay, then. Yeah. yeah. And I and I look from behind my shoulder to Aggie, and I go. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, buddy. Sometimes um, it's a spell, but but sometimes it's just nature. Aggie, um, so have you have you thought of like of like eating more prunes in your diet? I think you need to get a better like regularity in your vow. So as this conversation is happening, uh, Aggie, if she could, it, it's it's like the turn down the the hearing aid. Like she just sort of like zones out a little bit, just. Oh, I sure, start, Orpheus, yeah. I said a whole explanation like of why prunes and regular vowel is good for you. And, like, just start putting, like, little medical things. And, like, yes, yeah, because gastritis and, like, your gastroenter, like, your intestines will really, and they just go really deep in explanation of biology and medicine. Yeah, you're talking about, like, the good, like, the, the good yogurt biotics and the bad probiotics. Yeah, so it's probiotics like, and yeah, like and, like, here. you have to probiotics, and, like, I just go through the whole path, and it's just, like, a long-winded explanation. At some point, I offer to sell to you some kind of product, like Herbalife or something like that, and, like, it, it goes on, <laughs> it becomes very weird, oh, you don't no. really know what he wants, but you know that he's good intention, and he's like, yeah. Oh, and like like I said, Aggie's just like smiling and nodding and like not listening at all. Your eyes slowly just defocusing. <laughs> <laughs> You've by this point you have left the the town by the uh, west gate and you are traveling along um, a main road that is heading almost completely west. Uh, I love how much this the fungal spores look like you know like beautiful old timey French villas in snow. Yeah, so this picture isn't <laughs> completely accurate because I found, like, a winter picture. Obviously, these trees would still be covered in leaves uh, because it's spring. <laughs> it's, the trees are covered in leaves, and those leaves are covered in white as well. Oh, this but, looks you know, like uh, New England. This looks like uh, it looks like upstate New York. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, I love that. Upstate. I, I win. <laughs> you win. I sure know how to. I sure know how to identify old timey Americana. Americana Rama. That yes. Diorama Ahead Americana. Of you, in the distance, you can see um, hills, uh, the Western Hills, uh, that were mentioned to you by the President, and uh, those hills are covered in trees. They're kind of sort of huge rolling hills, uh, covered in a white forest, and. <sighs> Uh, as you walk in that direction, suddenly from that forest, a huge cloud rises up and starts spreading out in all directions. And it's the same uh, dust cloud that caught you the day before. That's disgusting. Uh, so it's once so again, fart. a massive cloud. <laughs> well, you yes. can't tell. You're still wearing the, the gas mask. Uh, so this massive cloud of dust rises again and uh, no one reacts because the people who live in this area have just been seeing this for four or five days by this point Um, but it covers you and as you walk uh, you suddenly you're walking through uh, fog so thick that you can only see ten feet away from you and buddy are you still there? I mean, she's riding on Buddy. <laughs> Buddy? And now I take off the mask. Yep. Here I am still. And oh, I'll... good. I, I was getting worried. You don't. I, I couldn't. I couldn't see you. After was the, about 10 was minutes. Was the mask too confusing? Did you not realize who I was while wearing this? I must say, it, it wasn't, well, it wasn't your best look. Oh, I see. And I throw the mask like a frisbee. <laughs> so now you will never confuse me for another being anymore ever again. After about 10 minutes. That was dramatic. The, the dust settles and... Uh, you can just see that everything is covered in another layer of this dust. Um, so and I, the sky I, clears again. We, we knew, like, we saw 
we saw the dust coming from like a specific woodland, like in the hills, no? Like we saw it mm. rising. Roll perception. Ooh. Oh, shit. <laughs> this will definitely be it. I shouldn't ask shit, because then I have to roll shit. Okay, I said. 15. Oh man, it was a good roll. Originally. That, was, that was a good roll. Uh, yeah. yeah, so, uh, yeah, you can And you he still had her, micro my, my, uh, her uh, magnifying glass, that's why. You saw well enough to see exactly which hill the, the smoke rose from, but you couldn't tell because it's still quite far away, like, where on that hill, but you saw which hill it was. It was the hill closest to you, in fact. Oh, well, I point in that direction. Over there, and, like, Cornelius sticks out his tongue, like... There. We have to go there. Onward, Let's go buddy. save some mushrooms. I'm going to. I'm going up, to tell my up, birds. Get up, get up. I can't my, wait to cook some mushrooms. Hmm. I'm going to tell my birds to fly up, see how far, how high this cloud goes, and fly forward and see how far this cloud goes. And when they are done gathering that information, to return to my antler nest. Antler nest. Okay. Yep, my head is an antler nest. Yeah. Nice. Uh, the birds fly off. Uh, as uh, you wait for the birds to come back, you arrive at uh, a village. And from what you can tell, like, it's a small like farming village. Um, it's mostly empty, and it's a village that's at the bottom of the hill. Uh, so ahead of the village is, is the hill, the forest rising up the side of the hill and you see here that the, the road turns north the road no longer heads west uh, mm. at some point the birds come back and they say to you that the the dust spreads for an hour Because that's how so the birds think in terms of how, how long it will take them to fly an hour. There is... I share, I share no... with the group. Go on off here. So there's no road towards the hills? Uh, no, the, the, the village at the bottom of the hill, the, there is no obvious path that leads into the forest. It's quite a thick forest. Guys, we have to, like, make a path. You see uh, one uh, old woman outside with, uh, with the cows. The cows are covered in dust. Hey, Aggie. She is like you. <laughs> old. Who? 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 That lady over there. Hello? Old lady? Who are Hello? you calling old lady? Would you like a hard candy? Would you like... Would you like some cheese? <laughs> some... some what? Some cheese. Cheese? cheese. I, I'm always carrying cheese around with me. I don't eat strangers' cheese. Does terrible things for my... Fire... pro bay Stomach... Prunes! Good. What are you people doing out here? Are you... Bandits? Are you come to rob us? You come no. to have your merry way with me. Oh. We are the are adequate company. Um, I've, 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 I've found that you said that with almost excitement. No, no. Who would want to be uh, taken by a 12-foot moose? <laughs> Not me. You would be surprised. <laughs> But at that, Eggy kind of like leans over to old Caramel, like, "You're not here to take old ladies, are you?" Sorry, I have not been paying attention to what's been going on. What's happening with this old lady? I go, I go closer to the old lady and whisper, "I believe that he can. He also doubles as a prostitute in case you really, really want to." Wait a, wait a minute. Or is that a presidue? It's been confusing. The Presiduke? The Presiduke sent you? Yes. I thought the Presiduke sent the City Watch. They just went up into the hills there. Well, well it sounds like we have our mission. Let's go find them. 
Who yeah. watches the city watch? Can you tell us the exact way of the hills the city watch took? Are you sure you want to go? It's dangerous in the hills. Yes. We, like we, we, we don't want to go. We kind of have to. I see. Well, uh, if you go uh, a little bit this way, there's a path that leads up into the hills. Good. Anyone else hear combat sounds? Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's probably. I do indeed. <laughs> it's like the they're lady. in combat. Are, having, like, are the sheep like nosing around old Caramel, wondering if they're just if he's just like a giant sheep? I wasn't sure if I was having a PTSD <laughs> moment or what if we were all hearing the same thing, but you know I'm a soldier with a very tragic and horrible background, so who knows? You're a good boy, buddy. You wouldn't oh. hurt a fly. Well, if you're going into the woods, watch out for the spiders. Yeah. Wait, wait, what now? Spiders? Yeah, the spiders are full of spiders. Are they uh, big spiders? fun old spiders. How exciting. Some of them are big and some are small. But you said they were fun old spiders. No, full of spiders. The woods are full of spiders. Is full of a, a type of spider? Okay, they'll, I mean, they'll probably be fungal spiders at this point. I would like to roll to see if to see. I would like to roll survival to see if I've ever seen a full of spider. <laughs> uh, what did you get? A ten. So I've never seen a full of spider. No, you have not. However, I believe that they may be out there. Excellent. <laughs> Into the hills, guys. Into the hills. Before I go, spiders I go. Spiders and tigers and mushrooms. Oh my! <laughs> before I go to, before we go, I go to the old lady and tell her, just stay away from the back of the sheep, because you are like meant to die crushed by a kick, and it's like an awful way to go. And then I just leave her with that. And Aggie hears cake and goes, "Oh, did you want a cake?" Oh, no, thank you. I have lots of cheese. <laughs> Stay away from sheep. Cheese comes from cows. Okay. Uh, you... <laughs> That's like a commercial break. Cheese, from, cheese comes from cows. <laughs> you head into the woods. Into the Ooh, oh. like magic -y woods. Uh, Ooh, so it's a little fabulous. darker here in the woods because the woods are quite thick, but you have found a path that is quite clear. Uh, and the trees are full of cobwebs that you can see because they're covered in this dust. So we the cobwebs are super obvious. We move forward through the, the woods. Uh, excellent. Uh, as you do so... You come across a body. A, a dead body? Yeah, just Another to the... Buddy? If you look on the roll 20, you hopefully should see it. Uh, just to the left of the path, you find the body of a dead spider. A dead spider? Ooh. It looks like it's oozing. Yeah, it, I go there's over. a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of... Um, yeah, blood, pus? blood, blood, and pus coming out of it. Ooh, Absolutely pus. disgusting. Is but, it? But is it dead? Throw it over. Uh, investigate. Is it okay? Well, I uh, well, I should be able to know if it's dead without investigating. Yes, you should. Uh, it's it's about to die. Uh, um, ooh, Aggie, ooh. Aggie pokes at at it with Cornelius. Hello. I give it a I give Hello. it a I I give it a healing word. <laughs> you give a healing word to the dying giant spider. It's dying. I don't want it. I, I, I'm, I'm petting the spider, and I, and I nod. I nod. I don't know it's going to try to hurt us, and if we heal it, maybe it'll tell us something. Sometimes spiders speak common. I'm going to give it a... Uh, no. Come on, buddy. Come on over. I, I rode you over here. but you. I'm going to give it a cure wounds. Okay. You reach out and touch the... Uh, the oozing pus on the side of the spider and heal it for 11 hit points. Uh, holy, holy damn, that's yeah. the, the best rolls ever. 
Hello, spider. We come in peace. I'm gonna see. I'm, how I'm it petting it. I'm just petting the spider gently on top of the head. Uh, the spider sort of staggers to its feet. Uh, and uh, no one investigated, but I, I guess if you've gotten that close, you will have seen that it's got a bunch of uh, arrows uh, stuck into the side of it. What what kind of asshole would kill us? Kill a poor defenseless giant spider? Uh, does this spider speak a language? Uh, I believe not. Oh. I'm gonna do so. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if wait. I want to see if this works. I want to wild shape into a spider, and I want to say hello. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can probably copy that and make a second spider token that you look just like the other spider you've used it as inspiration yes but like a f but like a, a friendly looking one so i don't know the standard rules on this but my interpretation has always been that you speak in common but in a spidery voice so i'd like to hear that please I'm a spider now. I have mandibles. Was that was that was that spidery enough for you? This is how I'm actually going to speak, but I just wanted to do that for the benefit of anybody watching me. Uh, I see. You're, you're doing great, Caramel. I bought it. Thank you. Hold on. Let me just. You oh, actually are uh, like three points above in like the scale of sexiness. Suddenly, being a spider just really suits you. Wait, but can can I not can I not can I not speak spider? I thought that'd be really funny if that was a thing. Nope, the spider Damn leaves. It. <laughs> no, oh, spider. No. no, guys, you know you know what spell I don't have? I don't have speak with animals. On <laughs> rough. Also, is is it technically an animal? Isn't it an insect? Okay. Um, well, he will thing, tell I... his friends that we are good company. We're adequate. <laughs> I'm gonna like make a wild guess and say that that spider was shot without warning by the city watch. When I meet that captain, I'm gonna do unspeakable things to him. Please do not hold it against me. I would never I won't. hold anything against you. I have another idea, which is I can speak with plants. Okay. <laughs> so wait a second. Wait a second, Caramel. Do you like? cannot speak with animals, but you can speak with plants. I speak with birds. Birds and plants. I've oh, never Caramel, heard of them. Are you lonely? Okay. <laughs> Have you ever seen plants? How could I ever be lonely? Do you want to spend a spell uh, to speak with plants? Uh, no, because I think that we know what happened. <laughs> what yeah, you... I think it's pretty obvious. Uh, I, have a, I have a question. Um... Could anyone, and, and Eggy hands, like sort of like just holds up in a shaking hand a vial, anyone want to get some of that pus for me? Uh, sure. Yeah. I'd be tasty. Okay. I go and do it, because I'm not disgusted by these kind of things. Uh, Appreciate yeah. that, thank you. Orpheus Orpheus. bottles up some spider pus. Spider pus. Well, should we should we follow where the spider how, went? Or how we big is the uh, old caramel spider? Sorry. Uh, well, it's about the same height as old caramel, but much uh, wider. But suddenly, <laughs> I look very excited, and I just look at old caramel and look like I want to ask something. Like, it looks like you want to ask something. While I'm in my spidery no, no, form. What's your spider voice? You have to do it in the spider voice. <laughs> Anytime you talk in wild shape, you have to speak like that. Uh, it's, oh, I gotta pick a funnier animal. Um, <laughs> mandibles, mandibles. It looks like you want to say something to me. Mandibles. I have to say mandibles every time, too. Mandibles. Um, <laughs> is it okay if I, like, mount you for a while? Just. I'm really excited about mounting a spider. You may, mandibles. So I get on you top may. of like, 
on top of all caramel and I just like ride him like a horse, but he's a spider. I want to make a survival check to see if I can tell where the where the uh, folks who shot at the spider went. Please do. Fuck yeah! D and D. Uh, you can tell with your excellent roll that this spider was um, uh, attacked by goblins. You have seen goblin footprints. There were also the footprints of the city watch. You can see where they have gone. And they've gone further west, uh, up the hill. Uh, but, yeah, goblins were the ones that uh, attacked and killed, almost killed this giant spider. <laughs> it wasn't bullets. Goblins killed the beast. Uh, the I hate goblins. I also I, don't like them. There's a lot of racism towards small green things, and I, for one, don't think that's particularly acceptable. So we should kill them, yes? No. Can you, uh... All roll perception and don't panic. Oh, <laughs> Everyone, <laughs> Everyone roll perception, please. Look at that. Look at that. A second. Fucking druids, uh, right? Look, buddy, we're in the we're in the bad pile. <laughs> oh yes. caramel and obvious, you can tell that uh, you are being watched, uh, and because you've rolled so high, yes, you can tell that there are still goblins around in the woods, but they are keeping their distance. That Guys, I think we're safe. They're observing you. <laughs> I there don't are see anything. I think we should keep going, and then we'll defeat the spores, and then I'll make us all cookies. Wouldn't that be nice? There are goblins in the woods, Mandibles, that are watching us, Mandibles. I agree with the giant seen, spider. Has anyone seen the moose? I'm confused. <laughs> Didn't we have a moose? <laughs> I... This is how I've always been. No, you're, you're a spider. You're not a moose. Moose? Cosmic mushroom moose. Moose, moose. moose. Old yeah. caramel. Is that his name? Caramilk? Caramoose? 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 What do you do with that fandango? <laughs> what happened? Thunderbolts and lightning. Very, very mandibles. <laughs> There's a goblin. There's a goblin. There's another goblin there. Um, I I use thaumaturgy. Okay, go for it. Thaumaturgy. I use thaumaturgy and I give myself a very booming voice Ooh. that booms around the clearing or the forest where we are. Mm -hmm. And basically I say, Hey, goblins. Yo. Not cool. We do not want like to harm anyone. But if you get like super close, we will like harm you. So let's be, let's be symbiotic about this relationship and just not hurt each other, okay? And that's like booming, like really booming voice around, like echoes inside the forest. Yeah. There is a silence that follows that. But again, for Orpheus and Old Caramel who rolled so high, you can tell that they back off. Now that they know they've been seen, the goblins uh, get merged. Like, they stop. You stop feeling watched. Mandibles. <laughs> you continue to the, the west, spider. You continue along the path. You go higher and you go higher up the hill. And I... Once wild shape last. Uh, hopefully move your tokens over to the next map uh wild shape is like an hour or lo I'll it check. might be much longer have a look it's a it's an annoyingly long description to find out so it might take you a while to read it i just need to find a number uh and anyone in the twitch chat oh, who happens oh to i just so saw someone long. dead mm -mm -mm. I see so you arrive oh. at uh clearing near the top of the hill uh again because of old caramel's high survival role earlier you've been able to follow the footprints of the city watch um something interesting about those footprints they seem to be like 
It's not like they're searching, it's like they know exactly where they're going. They're going in a straight line. They, like, there's no, like, which way up this hill do we need to go? It's, we are going the way up the hill that we need to go. So the City Watch is walking in a way that seems that they are not searching, that they're just moving. Yes, exactly. And I, I mandibles as much with the group. <laughs> I raise an eyebrow like this. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> and just like shake my head like, hmm. Hmm. Uh, I have a bad feeling still, about this. Nice. Aggie is still very confused as to where the mouse is. I'm daydreaming so about goes. the bones. <laughs> Which... uh, Eggy, Eggy reaches in. Can uh, Yana or Buddy? Can Eggy reach into the bags to try to see if she can get you a bone? Uh... <laughs> My bag. Yeah, your bag. Yep. yep. Uh, so do Eggy roll a d twenty for me, and then shout three. out the number. <laughs> what did you get? A three. three. A three. You've got some soap. And a spell scroll for create water. Uh, so, so what Aggie does is she, is she, she looks at the soap and, oh, I, I don't think this is going to help. So she, um, how close is Orpheus to Aggie? Orpheus is. Oh, I'm on top of the spider. On top of the spider. Oh yeah, never mind. Uh, so <laughs> that's not going to work. Aggie grabs one of one of one of her like finger bones, but it's it's like pretty big. It's like that long mm. and uh and she puts the soap back in in buddy's bag and uh sort of and hands um hands him one of her finger bones here this this might you know say serve the craving for a little while but try not to swallow it because it might cause a prophecy but we won't be able to read it <laughs> all right <laughs> and i start sucking that bone <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I take the stuff. <laughs> the uh, clearing ahead of you uh, is coated in this white dust. And more than that, uh, you see a bunch of mushrooms are sprouting out of the ground here. Uh, there's mushrooms everywhere, big piles, small piles, really tall, thin ones. Uh, and just the I'm as big as our head? Head ones, yes. Some as big as your head. Give him a twist, a flick of the wrist, and there's just mushrooms everywhere. Yeah, I mean, if you twisted, if you gave them a twist with a flick of your wrist, you would pull the head off. That's what the soldier said. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Isaac. Thank uh, you for And ahead, the footprints lead to a cave. To the cave, Ooh. spider. Mandibles. That okay. means I go to the, the cave. Like, you can see that Orpheus is, like, really happy. Like, this has made his life. Suddenly his life has meaning while he's mounting on this spider. It's like, everything is different. He looks like a paladin instead of a death knight. It's like, yes! <laughs> okay, as you approach the entrance to the cave, you can see the dead body of a guard. Oh. Mandible. Is it definitely dead? Uh, roll I, I go to the body. Check. Well, no, uh, Orpheus can tell. Uh, yeah, it's definitely dead. I, I jump down the spider, feeling really sad about it. And I check the body. How long ago did he die? Um, maybe two hours. Oh, too far. Okay, he's gone. <sighs> it's I shed sad. a single tear. He was uh, crushed. Ew. So, guys, his internal much. organs exploded. Oh. Was he crushed by a mushroom? Um, I think mushrooms don't have this kind of physical strength. Oh. Too bad. I used my investigation skill to kind of like... Uh check the body and do kind of like a CSI Miami sort of a like a deduction if I can 
understand you like what's glasses, going on. Sunglasses? With the seven, describe, <laughs> yeah. describe how well your CSI investigation goes. <laughs> In, instead of like, uh, I, I, I just leaked the body. <laughs> no. I, and I tried to like, uh, and like, uh, understand what's, what has happened. And I say, Are there he's dead. <laughs> Sorry? Are there spores on the body? Like, did he just. There's spores on there's everything. Spores? There's spores on you uh, from the dust storm. Uh, there's spores everywhere. So he's definitely licked up some spores. <laughs> oh, I smell uh, some spores and taste. Inside surprise, surprise. The cave is pitch black. Um, nope, I got rid of all of those. All of those. Does anyone have like fire? I mm. let oh, me check. I go to, to my back and see if there's anything that can be ignited. Oh, to reach into your uh, bag? Yes. Uh, da, 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 da. You pull out a necklace of fireball. Ah! <laughs> Fuck yeah. Here, Orpheus, use this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's got one cast of fireball. We might need I that do, later okay. on down the I line. I say, thank you. I might keep this for slightly later, because, yeah. I bought it from a fire sale. Hmm. Oh, How God. will we see inside the cave? I don't have. I don't think I have night vision. Oh, I yeah, have no. a mandibles idea. Well, to be fair, I think the giant spider can see in the dark. Well, that's true. And what do I? Eggy got rid of a lot of things. What is? What do I see? Mandibles. You see uh, around the corner to the uh, right. You can see another uh, body of another guard. Um, I'm gonna go slightly more in. Okay. And see what else I see. Uh, you see something pretty big at the back of the cave. It's moving around, uh, and it's holding uh, something human-shaped in its hands. I'm going to turn back into my moose form. Okay. Sorry, Orpheus. I will. You can see that with... Orpheus is clearly taken aback by this. Like this is a strong, like hate I, for his morale. I, I apologize, but I had to become myself again to do this. And where that thing is standing, I cast a moonbeam because guess what? That also does probably nice. probably lights stuff up for us to see. Nice. I assume. Okay. I okay. Don't actually um, we're that. gonna go with that attack first everyone no one else you didn't like tell anyone else there was a a thing at the back of the cave that you were attacking so oh yeah i didn't you're the I, only I, one with a surprise round uh, i really should have yeah that would have been really smart <laughs> you you get a surprise round everyone else will be rolling initiative well God roll initiative as well God well done isaac i thought this would be cool man Ooh. what am i doing i have an initiative of two <laughs> I think so Aggie team. goes last. Now, now, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't press myself. Okay, can you? Uh, do you want me to add that score, or do you want to roll? Yeah, again? please, because he's the nice one. Okay. Um, I'm not on the board, and I don't entirely know how to. Uh, yeah, I think I probably hadn't wiped the board before, which is going to be a little annoying. Uh. Should Come we just on. all re-roll? Uh, uh, I could re-roll. Yeah, I'm re -roll. fine with that. Okay, you can re-roll. Okay. Everyone. Re -roll. If I, I'll, let me wipe everyone's time from the turn order. Okay, now re-roll. God damn it! <laughs> nice. Uh. Wow, I have an initiative of <laughs> zero eight, guys. Damn. That's the best initiative I've ever seen. Point. Zero eight, and I thought two was bad. Oh, but yours is three, so that makes me feel. Uh, and we're missing buddies. 
Buddy got a 16. Okay. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Yeah, it's because you have to touch your. Yeah, and you have to like click on your token before you click initiative. Oh. Okay. Uh, screw you, whatever this thing is. Um, uh, and roll your moonbeam. Fucking moonbeam. Wow, that thing is first in the turn order. Wait, why am I huge? Wait. Yeah, this. Yeah, we're gonna die. God damn it. Well, it's okay. <laughs> Alright, roll the moonbeam. Okay. Moonbeam! I rolled well, though. 13 radiant damage, nice. If he. But he has a lot of constitution, I would guess. The fucko. Yeah. We even know what he is yet. No. Damn it! He takes half of that. The audience now knows what he is. Uh, it's a troll! And yeah, the light, it lights up a great big troll at the bottom of the cave, which I will show you now. Can I say, can I say, uh, can I say a Boromir? Can I say a Boromir? They've yeah. got a cave troll. They've got, oh, they've got a cave troll. <laughs> a rave troll? Is that a good one? <laughs> Uh, so it is lit up and it takes what seven damage, six damage, six damage. I'll let you decide. Uh, six damage, I believe it's rounded. I think it's rounded down. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, when okay. when I see it lit up, I scream, "It's a fracking troll!" Uh, the <laughs> troll uh sees you, and it immediately throws uh the. Uh, guard it was holding ah yeah moonbeam it throws the guard it was holding at uh, at you uh, buddy so can you roll a dexterity saving throw for me oh do Ooh. I also because I'm sitting on buddy oh no sorry not a buddy at uh, at old caramel buddy's much further oh. back yay good thing I think too because you are bad what Let's see. Dexterity saving throw? This is not going to go well. Oh, it's gone great. Wow. You dodge out of the way of the body completely. It uh, flops into the wall behind you. I, I, I expect that. Like, That's horrible respectful. Sorry. And the uh, troll charges forward. Uh, hey. Does he get any other... I don't think he does. Oh yeah, uh, he uh, regains uh, ten hit points. So what? He's what? <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> it's Orpheus's turn. Okay, as I, I immediately take the, the 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 pendant. What was it that body gave me? Uh, the necklace Fire of fireball. Squirrel? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I take the necklace of fireball, and as I am um, like activating it, I say. Is a troll. I hate them because they don't like dying, and they will regenerate with any kind of damage except for fire. So, just keep that in mind. And I cast fireball. Okay. Uh, so you don't have actual spell fireball, so I'm gonna have to uh, find <laughs> that for you, right? Yeah. I also don't know. I know that it's at range, like it's a AOE, but I don't know how big. So I need to aim it. It's all good. It's, yeah. He's right in front of you, so it won't hit me. The, it's a cone. And also, the, the fun of Fireball is that you can just, like, I Fireball! Like, it's one of the best things. Hey okay, so it's a dexterity saving throw, and then it's 8d6. So can you prepare a roll of 8d6 for me? <laughs> 8d6. Okay, I, I heard 8d6. Fuck you, troll. Like, 8d6. Wow. 8d6. Okay. Yeah, so if you put the advanced roller, you can just do it in there. Yeah, sorry. It's not as advanced roller. Man, that troll is dexterous. So it's not. It's got, it's got a plus one to dexterity. It's just, uh, just rolled a fucking... It's just rolled a net 20. Okay. 8d6. Yeah. Good. Yes. Roll! So, half of that, 13 damage. Uh, it bursts into flames and goes... Rah, rah, rah. Um, you see that it's covered in um, mushrooms, and those mushrooms start to burn, and they smell quite nice. Oh, no. Aww. That's bad. I'm happy about it. 
Uh, okay. Uh, next up is Buddy. Who still has... Uh, to leave. All right. So... Was, was it that the troll is only, like, susceptible to fire damage? Was no, that so what it's Orpheus? susceptible. So, uh, roll uh, nature. And I will tell you. Ooh. Um... I will... Nature, nature, nature. There. Ooh. So it's susceptible to all sorts of damage. It's not. I don't think it's immune to anything. Potentially poison. Uh, no, it's not immune to anything. But you know that acid or fire damage won't regenerate. Whereas otherwise, it'll regain hit points at the start of its turn. Do you all right. Last that. I get it. Time uh, to. Uh. So. Orpheus said something about that, but I don't know whether Aggie knows or heard. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Let's see if my uh, magic shopping bag has any any goodies that I could uh, attack it with. Wait a second before you do. What? Too late. <laughs> uh, it's like I was going to ask Matt if you use that. Is that your action? That's a yep. bonus action to pull something out of a bag. Okay. Yep. So you pull out um, one bottle of red wine and uh, like a wind-up bee. A wind-up bee. <laughs> you have no idea what this wind-up bee is or was, but you have it and a bottle of wine. Okay, so I take a sip of the red wine and I throw the other thing at the troll. You throw the bee at the troll. <laughs> yes. B buddy, you are the only fighter. You could do more damage than all of us combined. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, can you roll a dexterity for me and we'll see where you... Uh, and, well, are you aiming at a specific part of the troll? It's pretty huge. Uh, it's... It's a uh, butt. It, well, it's facing you. So that would be a... <laughs> that'd have to be a natural 20 to hit its butt. <laughs> okay. Then, then his uh, groins. Okay. His several groins. Uh, roll a dexterity for me. Front butt. Dexterity, the saving throw. Uh, uh, any dexterity, I think. I yeah, for you, it's right. <laughs> Seven. Okay, so it doesn't hit his groin. Uh, instead, <laughs> uh, I'll just do a speedy roll for myself. It hits him straight in the chest. Nice. <laughs> um, it splats. And uh, this white substance spreads all over his chest. At least I got wine. At least you got wine. <laughs> uh, anything else, buddy? Uh, then uh, I run towards it. Okay. And Aggie, I are you still on his back? I am, yes. definitely. Okay. George! Oh my god. I, I, I look I look at old Paramel and look at Aggie uh, like riding Buddy to battle and I kind of like <laughs> mouth the words that could have been us. I was just like like <laughs> uh Oh Caramel, your turn. All right then. Um I think the best thing I can do is probably just attack this thing somehow. Uh, now I'm gonna I'm gonna summon a fey. Uh, I thought we said the birds were your fey. No, Is they're the my familiar. The they're my familiar. Okay. I do this. Okay, you're gonna have to draw a fey for me as we play because we don't have a fey token. Fantastic. You and the fey, choose. wait, I need to look up whether it can do anything. You get to choose whether it's fuming, mirthful, or tricksy. Well, I wish I knew what that meant. Yeah. God damn. Yeah, the Hold on. I read this earlier. Well, now it's an ally. I could dig up my <laughs> rule book. <laughs> or maybe maybe for this role you do something else, Isaac, and then Well no, do to... this and then we'll you've got time between turns to, to figure out something else. It's fuming. It's a fuming nice. okay. Advantage on the next attack roll that makes for the end of this turn, so it I summon it and I think that it I think it, it actually it is it able attacks. to attack. It goes straight after you, yes. It has its turn immediately after you. 
Ha ha! So it, it can attack with advantage. And then I'm going to, uh, and then also starry form. Okay, is that a bonus action? Yes, it is, because it's wild shape. And I'm going to become an, an out of my body comes a luminous thing of a chalice. Ooh. So I become a healing dispenser. Nice. nice. Uh, this Fey then, it's Fey's turn. Yes, it attacks. Uh, it has, it's a, uh, it has 30 hit points. It attacks with a, what? <laughs> Why does it not have a fucking uh, attack modifier? I I am on it for you. Hold on, some element. Oh no, it's it's it's, it's a D twenty plus one. Is attack? it? Ugh. Oh, spell modifier. Sword. It's got a spell. Sword. It's my spell modifier to hit. So it's a plus four. So seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, that's damage or to hit? To hit. Uh, one second. And it rolls an advantage because it's that fuming. Hits. Yes! And it's 1d6 plus, plus 3 plus... Ha ha! Hold on. You, someone, else do, someone else do something yeah. while I figure it out. Aggie, you're up. Oh, well, I, I'm very close because I'm on buddy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is is cast Hex, which is um, a bonus action, because mm-hmm. I I just think that this looks like a very angry troll and it needs some time out. So uh, I will cast. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's. Uh, I cast okay. Hex. Uh, and what that does is it's five uh, five necrotic damage, but they need to roll a. Da, 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 da. Save. I'm just trying to see what, the, what, what kind of You choose an ability when you cast, and it has disadvantage on that ability. Oh, excellent. Uh, so I choose Dexterity. Uh, thank you. And uh, for every one of their turns, uh, I get to roll 1d6 of necrotic damage. Uh, including this one? I did already, yeah. So I rolled a 5. Okay, 5. Uh, and that's my, uh, that's my bonus action. And because I am in front of this guy, and also uh, it's a spell, and it is a concentration-based spell, even if it is a, action, a bonus action, um, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, go Cornelius and slash, and uh, and I like I press just the top of Cornelius right here, and the bottom of the cane shoots out into a spike. For a second, I thought you were really going to have an actual spike on the bottom of your actual cane in your room. I really wanted to, but... That would be so great. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's really sad because it was a 22. (laughs) Uh, That seven does not hit. It just sort of goes... (laughs) <laughs> I think Aggie sort of like it's 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 like more of a poke like uh okay. caught Aegis. At the start of his turn, he regains health. Uh, what a dick! Not all of it, but some of it. Uh, and he's going to uh, attack. Uh, he's going to attack the one who fireballed him. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, he makes three attacks, two, one with its bite and two with its claws. So here's the bite. I guess that's a miss. Claws. Claws. Ugh. Oh, boy. Bye, Orpheus. No, I think he might still be up. Did, does 18 hit? No. Okay, so you just oh. take 10 damage. Oh, shit. Okay. Orpheus has a lot Orpheus? of armor. <laughs> Orpheus, you're up. I keep forgetting what Orpheus is. A death knight. Um, let me just put my. I cannot change my freaking. Okay. Um, first as a bonus action, I use uh, a necromancy point to give myself a fake hit point. Yeah, one fake hit point. Yeah, because that way I also get a plus one on. Armor okay. on AC. Great. Good. 
and then say, well, I fucking hate trolls. And I move oh, forward. That to be more in range. Like, I guess I'm in range for where I am. You're already in range, so yeah. He's just a bit, <laughs> he just tried to bite you. You're definitely in range. I just touch him. Okay. And, and I say, hey, troll. Feel the darkness of, uh, like, a grasp from beyond. Can I ask and where I cast... you're touching him? Uh, whatever is near. Okay. So what's nearer to the me? The leg. Like depending, told... like, let's wait. Let's let's wait to see if it hits. Depending on if it hits. Yeah. I choose what I was touching. Okay. <laughs> Ugh. So. That's the, the the ten at the top is chance to hit. Yeah. Yeah. So it does not hit. Does that mean it? it, it, it I, I I no no I don't accept that. Do you have to, do you have to explain to me how a thing that is in front of me is not touched by me? Okay. It moves moves out of the way. Yeah. Moves, moves out, of the, out way. of the way. Like they, he it's, just tried to buy me. Yeah. He's like, you have to, uh, you have to give okay. a, be a better description to this, to this touch. I see. <laughs> so it, it, uh, it kicks your hand away. But it, by kicking my hand away, yeah. it touches it. So I think you have to choose something else. Sorry, I'm being, I'm being nasty, but he's a huge animal. So I think it's stupid that he just I dodges. Will, I will touching take my hand. the. Five necrotic damage that was the extra from the act of kicking your hand away as the second it touches. But I think it's the spell takes more than a second to like a split second to, to do all its damage. So it can take five damage. Okay. Because it kicked your hand away. Are you gonna do anything else? I cannot do anything else. Uh buddy, you're up. <laughs> Alright. Uh I'm going to use my extra attack, so it's going to be a slashing uh, bonanza. Okay. Wait. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have to press probably. Slashing that bonanza. One. Extra attack. So is it now kind of like two or three times my attack with my halberd? You have two attacks every round. All right. So. But he already has. Uh... Two, he has two attack actions, and he has two attacks on each attack action. So, so is it this four? This particular round, you have four, yeah. All right. No, that's that's action surge. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Am I mixing it up? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes, this ac this extra attack just means you can attack twice per ah, turn okay, yeah, yeah, as yeah. his action. This is, this is what this is. I've given you something to be your favorite. All right. Then uh, I just make a sound, and I just use... Hits? Slash my halberd. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yep, and again? Yes. Uh, hey guys, did you know that my halberd has a name? I call him Columbo. So, here's another question. <laughs> Slash. Uh, and that one, this <laughs> is. <laughs> Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? What? <laughs> oh, Caramel, you're going to have to... <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, my God. Oh, Caramel, put yourself together. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm guiding both this sucker. Uh, that misses. Well, shit. Um... It goes flying. Boom, just past him. <laughs> Why aren't you bringing your moon thing to him? Because this would deal more damage. Oh. And and it would give him a, and and it would give him disadvantage on attacks, uh, mm. which I didn't do. So uh, I don't think I have any bonus action things. Did yeah, you I do. You have so a chance gonna... you can heal. No? Or is that? Saving that up for when someone's more damaged. No, that's the, that's when I use a spell slot. When I use a spell slot for healing, I can uh, do additional healing. Okay, it's your. It's not that broken. It's your um, Fey spirit's turn, and then it'll be yes. Aggie. So if the you want to do the, the start of the Fey roll, and then we can figure out the damage. Uh, that misses. <laughs> he misses. It's fine. 
This is so you, the 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 troll is kind of surrounded by things, and it's just sort of like sidestepping, dodging, ducking, going. Rrr! Seems to be dodging every attack thrown at it. Aggie. Which is funny because it has disadvantage on dexterity. Uh, Aggie takes immediate action and goes. Ah, cookie combustibles. Ah, um, well, it's got disadvantage on dexterity here, so I and roll. It does indeed. Uh, but the other thing is that this is actually three glowing darts. I don't know why this failed. Um, so it's it's 1d4 plus one for each one of them. So I don't really know. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So just roll it twice but more. it's three of them, so. So we've done the dexterity roll. We'll just roll twice more for the damage. Yeah, so I will do that, so one second. <laughs> and dice roller, you are just not being like you got it? <laughs> Why is it Columbo? <laughs> One. Oh, great. <laughs> and again. So that is a total of seven damage. Yes. And, uh, oh, plus uh, 1d6 of... So that is a total of eight damage. Uh, nine damage. Nine damage. I can do math. Ah, uh, take that! Pew, 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 pew! Troll's turn. Some health comes back. Of course. Uh, okay. Go up to there. Uh, troll is uh, still not been particularly badly hurt, but it didn't <laughs> like that necrotic damage it had to kick away. So it's still going <laughs> for uh, Orpheus. I speed it's on his face. Like, uh, all of I, I speed, as he's right. coming for me, I speed on his face. Rude. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Probably all hit you. No, only the last two. Okay, so that's 28 damage. I take it and I do not flinch. Whoa. Your turn. Uh, give me a second. I need to calculate how much that is. Okay. <laughs> uh, you should be able to click and type minus uh, 28. I'm on tail health, guys. That's not great. It's I say, I really like hate this troll, like, really, really. So I, again, uh, first of all, no. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. The stress uh, of almost dying. The thing is, everything I have is to be a tank or to attack several targets. You have a single target, suddenly I'm useless. Um, <laughs> that can't be true. I did. I I just touch from beyond again. Go for it. Do it. Like that misses. Oh, uh, you rolled so high. I'm gonna do a dexterity roll to see whether or not misses because it's got that, disadvantage. It's got because it's got that disadvantage. This what? makes zero sense. <laughs> that you in touch range are unable to touch a giant troll. Sometimes done like he, he just he just attacked. I could I could just yeah, go okay. and hold the leg. Good news. No, because it rolled under your under your spell touch ten. That's why. That's what we're saying. Yeah. So its dexterity was was less than your your ten. So I'm gonna say that you did the damage just this fucking once. Uh, <laughs> so that's I've like yeah, I know it's a rant, but in D and D it makes zero sense to me that you are in touch range and you cannot touch something. It just doesn't make sense. I have an experiment then. Next time we're in the same room, you try to touch me and I'll try to not be touched. But we're, as we're we are, this, as, as, as you have just kissed me, like we just, just make out and then as you pull away, I'm going to try to touch you. I don't That's like this happen. scenario anymore. <laughs> uh, buddy, your turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll just <laughs> slash him in the... Uh, uh, What's that? Ankle. <laughs> oh! Um, that does quite a lot of damage. He's, so he's bleeding all over, especially since that last attack <laughs> that he failed to dodge. Uh, he's, he's been in huge amounts of pain, and this has uh, cut him way down to size. He is, uh, he is clearly seriously struggling. You have another attack, I believe? All right. So... One more question. Slash. 
which also hits, and he just sort of <laughs> he goes, Ugh! and this one this one lands in his chest, uh, and it gets stuck because that stuff that you the the bee that you threw at him uh, was a glue bee, so <laughs> your your halberd is now stuck in his chest, but his eyes sort of roll backwards and he the whole thing his whole body just sort of goes and then he just goes poof and collapses to the floor in a shower of dust uh and he is dead Eggie would like to do one thing because sure. Eggie is really like not happy with this guy so Eggie is going to cast uh, if I can find it putrefy and Ooh. she wants to putrefy the body of the troll Wow, do okay, do it. It's dead. I don't think you can do it that. So so basically what happens is that the skin of the troll, like every aspect of the troll goes through almost like a dehydration process. So it kind of almost mummifies in front of our eyes and just like to the point that all it becomes is just this like dehydrated troll meat. Don't uh, hurt my Columbo, please. Did you just gag yeah, you go, do a do a strength check to pull your uh, to pull your Columbo back out of the glue chest. Uh, wait, where's my okay? Uh, with advantage because she sucked the water out. So oh no, I got oh, at, to do with it. advantage. Okay, that's so... enough to do it anyway. Uh, no, you right. fine. You managed to extract your halberd from the dried up corpse. Columbo. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, like as as my phase final action in this plane he's gonna take his little sword hop on the body too and just like hack it to bits like meh 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 okay and then he will disappear in a fuming little ball of fire um are any of so uh, you had mentioned that there were there were mushrooms on the troll Yes. Despite the dehydration are there still mushrooms on the troll no they were all burnt off by the fireball Uh, there's one, uh, guard in the corner of the room that, uh, Orpheus can sense is just about still alive. Oh, and old Caramel still has all this, the healing bits. Uh, I, I, I spit on the troll, and I move to the guard. I follow. Wait, I didn't mean to draw a line. Where is the, line. oh, there. And I, before I do anything... I say, hold the healing. No, sorry, that's not the voice. That's my voice of I'm annoyed at the troll and at my stupid low rolls. Um, uh, hold the healing. And I just touch the guard and say, hey, bro, what happened? What's up, dude? Uh, we were all attacked by the troll. Like, that's fairly obvious. <laughs> you don't have to be rude about it now. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't have to be, you know, so sanctimonious. <laughs> so, uh, so here's the thing. I have an ability that I want to use because it's a little tricky. Mm -hmm. uh, it requires consent, though. So okay. I ask him, "Do you do you want to be healed?" Yeah, uh, yeah, kind of obviously. Yeah, I like to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> so. I touch him and I do life transference. Mm -hmm. It's a long text, so I will not post it. Well, maybe I should. Um, so basically, I will give my life points to this guy. I cannot die from it, so I go down to one. So I'm basically giving him nine well, hit points. How many hit points do you have left? I have 10. Okay, then yeah, giving him nine hit points gets him one short of full. Cool. So I give him all of those hit points, but like, but they, it has a trick. So I will not say the trick yet. Though. Okay. Um, I just give him all of those hit points. He he and finds say, his wounds healing, and he just sort of goes, oh, "Took you long enough." And then I say, "Well, here's the thing. Tell me, you little god, why did that city watch knew exactly where to go?" I, and don't lie. I won't lie. It's the, the the city watch captain led us. He knew exactly where he was taking us. He uh, he took us up to the 
to the top of a hill and then we came down and into like this cave he knew exactly to come for this cave um and then when the the troll attacked like he he started by attacking it and then he ran right to the back of the cave and he went into uh this tunnel at the back and he he left us to die well it sounds like your god captain is a little bitch yeah you're telling me i'm quitting the guard i'm quitting I, now I, yes. i'm going home. i'm quite happy about this well young man i i suppose uh, good luck thanks and uh he starts to head out of the cave and then uh he just sort of looks around and goes are the are the goblins still here what goblins we scared them off don't worry about it just tell uh, as as you're walking say say that you're with the big spider guy okay sure whatever <laughs> it works. and away he goes hey guys I bet this cave has a kick-ass echo. Bark. 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 So fun. I have a feeling like the city guard captain is like a little tiny dicked person and he's trying to overcompensate by creating a huge diversion in the city that got out of control. Uh, what do you mean here Here are 25 hit points? How did that happen? Uh, he was healing me as I was, as things were happening, no? Oh, okay. I cast it at second level. Yep. So the first level should have had a plus four. Oh, wait. <laughs> Shit. Take take 21 hit points. I figured it out. Thank you. The ro Take 21 hit points. Okay. Uh... And ahead of you, uh, at the back of the cave, this well, the the flames from the the flames are out. It's dark in here now, uh, so you can't really see. But if you spend uh, some time as you are further into the cave, you can see at the back. Uh, your eyes adjust, and you can see a small crack at the back of the cave that leads uh, further in. Uh, but when I say small. It's small compared to the cave troll. Uh, it's not small compared to like it's. You're gonna have to duck down, uh, old caramel, but you can, like, crawl through this uh, part, <laughs> this tunnel. Uh, and I'm just going to very speedily because we've already gone over time. Uh, just tell you what happened, or should we stop here? Do you think this is a good spot? <laughs> we just killed the cave troll. I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, I think we're, we're about to head deep, cool. deep into the cave. I think that's a decent place to stop. Uh, and if you want to find out what's going to happen next, you're going to have to tune in next week, audience members, and find out what happens to our um, gaggle of crazy <laughs> adventurers in our next episode. And I'm going to stick back to music. One second. There we go. Whew. So, that's where we're stopping for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you, brilliant performers, for performing. You're welcome. Thank you, Matt, for being a brilliant and dungeon hard. master, as always. As always. Uh, thank, thank you for letting us break a few rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... Oh, 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 it pissed me off so much. He, he got so annoyed. Feel. He got so annoyed. <laughs> and also, I could tell that the time was running out. And I'm like, yeah, sure. He touches the, the... It's really nice not to be the one who, like, tries to play D&D &D lawyer. It was very, very nice to see someone else. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, 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 I'll rant about it out of camera. But it's like... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm totally with you. And I've had those arguments and failed, so it was nice to see someone get... Well, it made sense, because like, you texted him and he was less dexterous. So there was a yeah, lot yeah, of... Yeah, like, I, I think the dungeon master needs to really describe how this creature dodges these attacks, because it makes no sense. So it's like... I think it okay, was just... I mean, guys, fair, I just want to finish like, the wrap-up. Like, like, Wait, are we, li are we live? We're still live. No, we're not. Oh, we are. 
This Holy shit, we're still live! This Saturday, Itamar will be hosting another online role-playing game. <laughs> He'll invite the Twitch stream to play along with him. Next Monday is the next episode of Quests of Yalpalor. If you miss an episode of either show, we're all up on YouTube. Thank you again, and tune in again at the same time next week for the final part of Adequate Company! Ooh. Ooh. Goodbye! Bye, everybody! Stay safe, Bye -bye.